want to come out the front and sit at the front. No? <laughs> She's feeling a bit shy today. Yeah, a bit shy. Okay, well what I want to do is to tell you the story of the resurrection. Okay, what happened? Now, this is what it says in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Now we're going to be thinking today about why Jesus came and what Easter is all about. And of course, Jesus came to teach us all about love. He came to teach us all about God. He came to teach us about how we can be friends with God. And it was all because God loved the world so much. But sad to say, a lot of people at the time didn't love Jesus. They didn't love him. And so what happened was that after he had lived some 33 years, some of the people in the country arrested him and they put him to death on the cross. But that was why Jesus came, because we are all given life and that life will only last a certain length of time and then we die. But Jesus came specifically to die, but that's not the end of the story. Well, what happened was that this was on the Friday, and before sunset, he was put in what's called a tomb. Now, a tomb was like a, a cave, a cave in the rock, and it would be a big place. And he, he was wrapped in all these cloths, and he was put inside this tomb, and this great big stone was rolled over the entrance to the tomb. It was a huge stone, it would take a lot of people to move it, and soldiers were put on guard, and the, the tomb was sealed. So nobody could get in and nobody could get out. Okay? Well, that was on the, the, the Friday. On the Sunday, on the third day, some of the women who were followers of Jesus, they wanted to go to the tomb because Jesus had to be buried very quickly because uh, they had to bury people before the sun set. So they weren't able to do all that they wanted to do. So they came with some ointments that they were going to put on the body of Jesus. Now, what happened before they got there? There was an earthquake. Now you don't know what an earthquake's like, girls, do you? But you've heard of an earthquake and the ground would be shaking and it would be kind of scary. Well, it was so scary but because an angel came and rolled away the stone and the soldiers that were guarding the, 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 the tomb were so frightened, they actually fell down and then they ran away. Well, when the women got to the tomb, they were met by this angel. And the angel said, you know, they were startled. I mean, imagine if you saw an angel all in white, dazzling. That'd be scary. But the angel said to them, He is not here. He has risen just as he said. Because one of the things that Jesus had said on a number of occasions was that he was not only going to die, but that he was going to rise again from the dead. Okay? So, the um, angel says to them, Don't be afraid. Go and tell his disciples. That was the male followers of Jesus. Men. So, the women ran away, but before they got much further, do you know what happened? They were met by Jesus. Jesus was alive. And he also said to them, do not be afraid, but go and tell my disciples. So these women were so amazed at this. They hurried off back to where the rest of the disciples were and they told them what had happened. That they'd, they'd been to the tomb, they'd seen this angel, and the angel had said, he's not here, he's risen, and we're telling you. So what happened was that two of the disciples, Peter and John, ran to the tomb. Now John, Peter and John, that's, that was their names. Now John, he was fitter and he got to the tomb first. That's him at the very front with the, the yellow headdress. But he didn't go in. I think he was a bit scared. But Peter, that's him at the back, he went in, and do you know what he saw? The body of Jesus wasn't there. 
It was just the grave clothes that had been wrapped in. Jesus was alive. Now you think about it, that tomb had been sealed with this big stone. But the stone was away, and Jesus was away, and because he was alive, he'd met the women on their way back from the tomb. And as a result of that, it's a long story, and you'll hear about this all the time at church, all these disciples, they began to tell the world that Jesus died on the cross and that he is alive. And Jesus did all that in order to save us from our sins. And that's what we call the gospel message. This is what it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Jesus came so that we might believe in him. So that we would have eternal life. So that we would go to heaven. And she's going to sing two Easter songs that you learned in nursery. Yes, okay. Off you go then. <laughs> check, 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 check in.
and we think about eggs, what does that make us think about? What do eggs produce? I want to be story. No. What do eggs produce? Um, what did you say? You, you've been singing about them. Easter. Chickens. Chickens. Oh, yeah. You see, the, the egg is a it's a sign of life, okay, new life in particular. And that's the thing that we want to really, the girls and girls, that's what we really want to think about at Easter time is, is that of new life. Because Jesus came to give us new life if we would believe in him. So at we, last we are getting a chip. Yeah, listen, you'll get more eggs. You've got all these eggs at home, so you don't need to worry. Now I want you to think about something. Jesus, God made us to be loving, to be kind, to do everything that he wanted us to do. I think we'll take those chicken off you because you're, you're not listening. Okay? Right. Listen to, listen to me. But every time that you're not nice to your sister, you know what that's called? It's called a sin. Every time you have a bad thought about somebody, that's a sin. Every time you don't do something that your mum or your daddy asks you, that's a sin. And so, as we go through life, we have all these problems that make sense. Okay? Now, what do you do if you upset your mum or your daddy? What's the thing you should do? Sorry. Say sorry. That's right. But here's the thing. Every time we do something bad, every time we do something wrong, do you know who is really, really upset and hurt? Who? Who? God. God is really hurt and really upset because he didn't make us, he didn't create us to hurt him. He created us to love him. And that's why Jesus, Jesus well, came. Well, I love God. Okay, that's, that, that, that's good. But Jesus came so that he could deal with the problem of our sin. And that's why he went to the cross. And there he died. And there he died so that we could have life. So that if we would believe in him. So what happened was that on the Friday, Jesus was put into the tomb. Okay, he's there in the tomb. On the second day, which was a Saturday, still in the tomb. But on the third day, you watching? He wasn't there. Because Jesus is alive. Yes. And that's the great thing. Wait, day. was that like magic? <laughs> Might have been. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Because Jesus rose from the dead. He's alive. He's alive. And that's the message that we've got to tell the world. So that people will believe in Jesus. Because he is been the victor, he is one over death, he is one over sin, and he and he alone is the one who can make us friends with God and take us to heaven. Okay? So you think about that when you've got an empty Easter egg. Well that reminds me that Jesus is alive. He's alive from the dead. Now here's what I want you to do. I have got two baskets of real eggs and what I want you to do, girls, I want you to go around to people here in the church and to give them one each. But you've got to do something as well. Because the whole point of Easter is that just like the disciples told, or first of all, the lady disciples told the, disciples, the other disciples, the men disciples, about Jesus that he'd risen. And then those disciples together, they told the world that Jesus is alive. Okay? So when you give one of these eggs to someone in the church today, I want you to say, Jesus is alive. Can you say that? Jesus, Jesus is alive. 
Right, so you, you say that to everyone as you give them out to everybody, okay? So maybe one around that side and one around that side. Maybe Miss, your mummy can help you. You go that way. Maybe. You go that. You go that way. You see, go that way. We'll give everybody. Remember what to say to everybody. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that looks good, girls. Has everybody got an egg? Well, that's good. Well, listen. Good girl. <laughs> good girl. Well, this is a bonus round. Yes, I think so. I think everyone on this side's got one. Listen, girls. Listen, girls. Right? Okay, I'm so excited. Thank you. Right, you've got all these eggs left, okay? Now, here's, here's what you can do. You can either eat them, but you've got loads of eggs as it is. No, I want to keep mine. Well, I was going to suggest, maybe if you meet some of your friends, you could give them an egg and you could say to them, Jesus is alive. That's something you could do, okay? Right, okay, we're going to have a prayer. And first of all, I'm going to pray what Olivia has written. Okay, she's written this in, in her book, just a very short prayer. And I will pray that and then I'll finish off that prayer, okay? Right, let's all pray. This is Olivia's prayer. Dear God, thank you for Easter. I love you. Amen. And yes, Father, we do thank you for Easter, for all that it means, and for the fact that Jesus is alive. He is our Savior from sin. And we simply ask you to help us to not only celebrate the resurrection, but to be ready to tell others about it because it is absolutely vital for people to get to hell. In Jesus' name we ask this.